Hey guys, it's Andrew Escovel here back with another review and today I'm going to be reviewing the Dr. Scholl's Custom Fit Orthotics. Now you may have actually seen advertisements for this on the TV or maybe you've actually gone to Walmart and seen that machine that you stand on. And the machine actually measures details about your feet and then recommends you a number which for me was 430. And this number correlates to the way the orthotic is designed so that it matches your arches and foot in general with the pressure points to help better uh, make a custom fit to your feet. Now, these things are a little expensive. They were $50, but if you think about it, real custom orthotics are going to be like $300 or something like that from what I've heard. So if you need something better than a generic insole that you put in but can't afford a real custom orthotic, this might actually be a good choice for you. Now the actual machine itself takes just a few minutes to complete. It's a little awkward when you're standing there and like a million other people are watching you because you've got to take your shoes off. Hopefully you don't have smelly feet. But uh, like I said, mine was uh, 430 and there's a wide variety of numbers that are available with different uh, features and details about them. When I say features, I mean the way it's designed, you know, the arches as a feature, padding, and all that kind of stuff. Now, the one thing that this does not have going for it is this is the orthotic. Looks relatively simple. And it does work really well, I might add, but it doesn't fit the entire shoe. Now I'll show you what I mean. Okay. This is my shoe. It's a size 12 Nike Air Max 2012. Notice that this does not cover the entire thing. It's not designed to replace the insole of the shoe. It's designed to go on top of the insole from what I can gather and that seems to be the best way to do it. I've tried it with and without the insole. But here's the issue. These things are so specific and exact, which is a good thing, but they're, they're so precise to how your foot is that if you got shoe, this is a left orthotic. Let me pull a right, one left, right orthotic out so I can better sh I, uh, give you an example. Okay, so this is the orthotic and the shoe. I've got a very tiny arch. Too much of an arch will hurt my feet terribly, so I need a flat shoe. This helps fit the arch, and I'm going to show you in a minute how well this actually fits my foot. But if the orthotic is too far forward or backwards, it will be very uncomfortable and actually hurt your arches of your feet even more than it is if you were not to use it. So getting it to fit in the shoe just right can be very difficult at times and time consuming. So I only wear these when I know I'm going to be walking a lot. And I actually tested with these things for three days at a convention. So I did a lot of walking. Pretty much the entire day I had done walking. So within three days, easily over 24 hours of constant walking, all that stuff. And when, when they are put in correctly in the right spot, they're fantastic. They really made a difference. Because last year I went to the same convention, did the same amount of walking, except for the fact that I had cheaper shoes and no insoles, and my feet were killing me. I had to sit down and take a rest constantly. But with these, I was able to continue walking a heck of a lot more than I did last year. So uh, these made a huge difference. They really are really good. But you can't wear them every single day unless you really want to take the time to get them just right. Now, this may be an issue that only I'm suffering from because of my particular circumstances. I'm very sensitive to arches. And if you look at this, it's a very gentle arch. Almost no arch whatsoever. But there is a slight arch. And let me show you what I mean by repositioning the camera and actually putting the orthotic on my foot and I'll show you how exact these actually got. Okay, so this is my foot 
I've got it kind of a, at a weird angle here for you because I want to I want to show you my arch. It's a very small arch. So here's the orthotic. We're gonna put the orthotic on in the spot that it's supposed to be. And from what if you can see it, it fits it perfectly and it makes the part down here pretty flat. It's got padding on the other side that touches my foot right here. And it, it's really comfortable. Now you notice I have marks right here. I put those marks there so that when I put it in my shoe, the insole, I can line it up perfectly so that way when I put my foot in the shoe, if the orthotic has moved slightly, I can kind of reposition it back to where it should be. Because once it's in the shoe, it's very hard to tell whether you got it perfect or not. And because it's such a slight difference, but it makes all the difference in the world, if it's too far up like that, you get pain because it doesn't line up right. See how it gaps? You need it to be just right. And that's the flaw with this orthotic is that it does move when you put your foot in the shoe. But once it's in the shoe, it's not going to move anymore. So having it perfect can be a, a hassle. It can be a pain. Because unless you get it just right, they're not going to work right. So I want to show you um, how this all goes in and how it plays out. So I know it's kind of hard to see because this is all black. This is the inside of the shoe without the orthotic. So as you can imagine, the orthotic slides in and voila. But like I said, that's not the end of it because this orthotic can move forward it can move backward and it could be just right and it's hard to get it just right because it does move it does not grip the shoe perfectly in fact it grips it very poorly until your foot's in there when your foot's in there it provides enough pressure to where it's not going to slip so what I did is I originally took the insole put it on my foot to where it was perfect. I marked my foot and the insole exactly where they should line up with each other. So yes, I did actually put a little bit of permanent marker on my foot. Just a tiny bit so that when the shoe, uh, when the uh, orthotic is in the shoe, I could tell that the orthotic had not moved up or down in any dramatic manner in relation to my foot. And once I found where it was perfect in my uh, when I was touching my foot in the shoe, I then marked on the shoe right here, see that black mark, where the shoe insole should be in relation to the shoe. So that next time I put my foot in the shoe, all I have to do is make sure the orthotic marks on the shoe and the orthotics itself are lined up. So that way I get a pretty good idea of where it should be in the shoe after my foot has put has been put in the shoe. Because when you put it in, it either moves forward, moves backwards, yada yada, this helps position it. So like I said, the orthotics are not sized out, per se, for any particular shoe size. At least, I don't think so, because it doesn't cover the entire shoe, only a small portion. So its tendency to move is pretty great. So that's that's my, that's what I did, and the system seems to work okay. It's not perfect, and as you step up and down, the shoe and everything compresses, and plus this shoe is uh, got airbags on the bottom of it, so the shape tends to mess around a little bit, even more because the shoe gives and stuff because of the air bladders. So that's another thing to be aware about. Okay, so. Closing statement about the Dr. Scholl's Custom Fit Orthotics. Are they worth the $50? I'd say so. But only if you're given the right circumstances. Getting these to fit in the shoe just right to where they actually make it more comfortable is very difficult, unfortunately. Especially in my case. Because I'm so picky, I've got small arches. My feet are very sensitive to any arch. And my shoe, like I've said before, um, changes shape a little bit as it moves up and down. 
so there's that issue. But all in all, when they are in there correctly, they do the job really, really well. I walked around for quite a substantial amount of time on these things and they made a world of a difference. If you're willing to spend like five minutes every day to make sure these are incorrect, are, are put in your shoes correctly, and I know if five minutes doesn't sound like much, but it's more than the 10 seconds it normally takes to just slip on your shoes. So if you're willing to spend the extra time to make sure these things are put in perfectly, they do make a huge difference. And they are, in fact, worth the $50. Um, that being said, if you don't like them, you can send them in to get a refund. However, you can't just bring them back to the Walmart you have to send it in, like ship it in, to a specific place that the warranty specifies. Uh, I don't know what the specific place is, but you can get a full refund if you don't like them. So they are worth a shot. Worst case scenario, you end up spending a few bucks to ship this back and get your money back. whoop de doo So that's, uh, that's really all there is to say about it. I mean, it's one of those things where... It, you're going to have to try them yourself to see if you like them or not. Don't take my word for it. Experience says more than someone's opinion. So I highly suggest you give them a try. Because you never know. You might end up finding a diamond in the rough or a needle in the haystack with this thing. It's a double-edged sword, though, I'm telling you. Because if you get it right, it feels amazing. If it's slightly off, it kills your feet. Not much you can really do about that. So before I do go, uh, I would like to show you a bit of a close-up of the actual item. And as far as what it's actually made out of, um, it's pretty much foam for the color parts. And you'll notice that at the actual little kiosk thing in the Walmarts and stuff, a lot of them are color-coded for different reasons. I'm not entirely sure what those specific reasons are. But the color-coded parts are uh, kind of a slightly smooth yet sticky foam. Uh, this part right here, the gray part, is plastic. But it, it does have a decent bit of give, so it adjusts a little bit. The white part is also plastic from what I can feel. Build quality. Um, you know, it's nothing super premium. It probably costs them a few bucks to make this thing. Um, obviously not going to be as good as actual custom-made orthotics, but like I said, those are like six times the price, I want to say. They're like 300 or so, depending on where you get it, how it's made and all that stuff. But uh, if you're looking for a, a, a decent compromise for something that'll help your achy tired feet probably a good idea oh and you may have noticed this, this is that extra padding that I was talking about earlier and uh, it's nice and contoured and stuff so anyway give it a try if you don't like it, get your money back, it's, it's just that simple so um, hope you guys found the review informative um, if you got achy feet like I do give it a shot uh, check out my other videos, comment, rate, subscribe. i got plenty of content. And as always, thanks for watching, guys.